The second guest of the Space Engineering Podcast will be Juan Arrieta, who specializes in spacecraft trajectory optimization and navigation, deep space mission design, astrodynamics, and software engineering. So getting to his background in reverse chronological order, he is now the founder and CEO of Napa Zero Labs, which is the company that I work for. And right now we are the only two people in the company. It's a pretty interesting and exciting place to be, getting to learn from him, all his background and all his software. So what we do is deep space mission design right now, including the Artemis missions, trajectory optimization, software engineering, and a few other things. And before that, he spent roughly seven years at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, also known as JPL where his first three years were as a navigation engineer with the Flight Path Controls Group, where he did design, analysis, optimization of orbit trim maneuvers for the Cassini spacecraft around Saturn. And then after that, he spent four years as a mission design engineer for the Outer Planet Mission Analysis Group, where he did trajectory design for the Europa Clipper mission. Before that, he got his PhD from Carnegie Mellon, specializing in numerical optimization for spacecraft trajectory design. And he actually did that to the chemical engineering department of Carnegie Mellon. So I'm going to let him tell that story. So, And then before that, he was a senior associate at McKinsey and Company in Mexico. And before that, at the beginning, he got his bachelor's of science in chemical engineering at Universidad Iberoamericana de la Ciudad de México. And some of the questions that I have already planned out for him, and please let me know in the comments of the YouTube video if you have any other questions that you'd like me to ask him. I'm breaking it down into three separate topics. So the three separate topics are optimization and navigation, then astrodynamics, and then software engineering slash numerical methods. And realistically, they're all going to be related, but I'm going to try to organize it in this way. So for optimization and navigation, I have optimal control problems, which that is his ex expertise. So how to formulate these problems. And as far as solving them, direct versus indirect methods, how to use collocation, shooting methods, and sensitivities of these solutions. There's nonlinear programming. There's a special, or there's one program that he used in his PhD th thesis called the Interior Point Optimizer for Solving Optimal Control Problems, abbreviated IPOPT. There's linear solvers slash linearization in general. We're doing this optimal control problems. And then to navigation, there's a fundamental understanding of what navigation is because there's a general understanding of what GNC a guidance navigation and control is, but actually getting down into the math of what you're actually trying to solve in navigation, uh, I want to learn more about. There's spacecraft clocks, trajectory correction maneuvers like you did for Cassini and Europa, and then just statistical analysis involved in all this navigation. For the astrodynamics, I want to ask him about deep space orbit determination, NASA SPICE toolkit and kernels, which I've shown a lot in the educational videos that I made on the YouTube channel, ephemeris calculations, which has to do with the SPICE toolkit, relativity, especially accounting for aberration corrections when getting these ephemeris calculations, orbit propagation, including different types of solvers and reference frames. And then for the software engineering and numerical methods, I want to get into the fundamentals of ordinary differential equations or ODE solvers. And what are the fundamental differences between the different solvers based on, say, energy drift, accuracy, and what kind of tolerances you want to use for specific problems. I want to get into programming languages slash compilers. So getting into C++, which that is his, uh, one of his expertises, uh, Fortran and Python. I also want to get into the fundamental differences between operating systems like Unix operating systems, OSX, which is Mac OS, and Windows, computer clusters, all that type of stuff. And that's just a question that I have now. I'm sure I'll come up with more. So again, please let me know in the YouTube comments if you have any more questions that you'd like me to ask him. And thank you for watching.